In just a matter of minutes, the damage was done. January's hailstorm hit the ANU's Acton campus hard. Every single glass house, including this one we're standing out, was damaged. That's 1,500 square metres of glass house space. It impacted over 200 researchers who have projects covering a range of research areas. A three-year project, two months from completion, ruined. The experiment was looking at the effects of climate change on native Australian alpine plant species. Because it's a plastic roof and because the screens were shut, the plants themselves didn't suffer a lot of immediate damage, but the experimental treatments were completely destroyed. You reckon they're looking all right? This is what they managed to salvage. What we did have was a number of seedlings um, that gives us some ability to replicate some parts of the overall project and we've been able to move them to alternative accommodation. The glass house is a very big space. An international food security project funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation focusing on improving rice yield was also impacted. We need to transfer all our plants, everything that we can salvage from that big um, contained facility to a very small contained facility and therefore you can imagine that um, the prioritisation of which plant we will save, which ones, which ones we will keep, which ones we will discard. The plants grown at the ANU are then exported to collaborators worldwide. The storm damage will push out the project's time frame and increase costs. Part of the irony of the situation is we've got a group of amazing scientists who are trying to create the sort of resources that we need for food security in the future that will help us when we experience extreme climates and yet an extreme climate event has knocked out our capacity to deliver those sort of resources in the time frame that we were hoping to deliver them. Work is underway to repair the damaged glass houses, but it won't be a quick fix. We're discussing with ANU and other people around town what could be a reimagining of this facility that would enable it to really take us into the next century. A long road ahead, but these scientists are confident they can adapt to change. Elise Fanton, ABC News, Canberra.